Um, thank you, Deputy, for your question. And you asked me a direct question there. Um, you asked me if I would be able to help you um, set up a meeting. So the, can I just bring you up to speed? So at, currently I'm meeting with the lead agencies. So I know in CHO4 that some of our leads are, uh, and I suppose, um, Breda will correct me if I'm wrong here, Enable, Action, Enable Ireland, Co-Action uh, and um, COPE are the main leads. We don't have any HSE in CHO4 delivering services. It is actually all outsourced um, to those lead agencies is my understanding. I met, I was down in Cork, I think it was, in July of this year. But to your particular point, I am meeting with Coaction, which is, I think, covers your area that you're referencing there. I'm meeting with them as a lead agency on the 9th of December. I have no problem bringing up the queries you're talking about there today that we didn't talk about, but I, I'll meet you afterwards to discuss those. But I have no problem either in going down um, to West Cork to meeting a, a, a group, uh, if that would help facilitate it or alleviate it. Uh, and I've no doubt that Breda will, would, would ensure that the, any supports that I need from a HSE point of view would be put in place for to facilitate me going down there. Because I do think there's a lot of pieces, and I'm very clear in my commentary on this, communication is the most important piece with parents. Communication, up-to-date communication, and I think it was Senator Mary said it earlier on, that sometimes the line in the paper doesn't tell the true reflection of where things are at. So, I've no problem. Absolutely. A, in to I am meeting with Coaction on the 9th of December. B, in facilitating a meeting with yourself there. Uh, and C, taking up the particular issues that you have there on your desk. Because we all agree 15 months is, is a long time and we will try to get to the, the nub of the problem. Thank you Minister, um, I really appreciate that and I look forward to the meeting and um, just quickly in response to the HSE I welcome that you're considering having that kind of honest conversation with families instead of allowing them to kind of be consistently fobbed off by the system when there isn't the staff in place at the moment and we are looking at next year and I just want to quickly highlight that in relation to the allocation of staff for an area one example um, of a very populated area it's a big population and the allocation for the CDNT at the moment is for that many people uh, 0.5 of a nurse and I just think we need to be maybe a little bit more ambitious in terms of the staffing allocations if, if our hope is that next year when like you say all the staff are embedded and bedded down and all of that stuff I don't see how half a nurse for a whole area uh, for, for a network team is going to be sufficient. So I think before we get to that point where we're finally, you know, in next year when we kind of have all of these promises of having all of the staff and everything set up, that if there still isn't enough, we're going to be back here having the same conversation again. So I just wanted to highlight maybe the, the issues around the allocation of staff at present as well going forward. Um, but I think the families I've been dealing with would, um, of course, be um, disheartened that they won't be getting the services next year, but I think they would prefer that honest engagement that they won't be getting them. And I think we need to look at, you know, supporting families who, who need the help to get the private interventions that they desperately need. Those kind of interventions cannot wait. Okay, thanks, Deputy. Okay, I'll move on to Deputy Nessa Hurahan.